Awesome. 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 Oh, hey, everybody. You can tell it's Batmanuary. That's not why we're here. We're just here because of this m and -er. Got a Mission Gold Pure Pigment set. Which is pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. I'm sure you're all uh, super excited about it. Uh, I'm just going to set my focus here. Uh, video. Zoom. Is it focused? Yeah, that's better. That's better. Gripping content. I tell you, gripping content. Anyway, I'm just here to swatch this out. I'm making a video about this pure pigment set because it was a bit of a pain in the butt. They give you like a chart to help make this whole studio palette. And uh, their guide is completely wrong, which is very unfortunate for me. So I had to make my own. So I make a little how-to video on this just to help other poor lost souls. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Stuff's still a little wet. Uh, poor lost souls like me out there trying to, just trying to use the mission pure pigment set and not able to because they lied. They lied. So the original set, I think, that came with the instructions had a very different palette of uh, colors in here. There was like, I think it was eight or nine. I think it was eight. That were different than the what's in the the setup that they recommend. So that didn't work. So I had to make my own palette. That's what I'm doing here today. Just seeing if I can get that to work. So I did it and I, I think I did a fairly good job of choosing some new colors that were inside the with the pure palette. So the idea is you've got some of them are just pure pigment. Then you've got these mixed palettes like uh, I don't know, this one's a little easier to see over here. You get your mixed palettes where you take two pure pigments and they make another color. So I'm going to swatch it out to see what these guys look like because I haven't actually used this set yet. I think uh, later today I'll be using it to do a, a Batmanuary picture, I believe. I have a, like a rough idea in my head. So. And we'll probably use that. All right, we're going to start off. So I'm just going to do like regular swatching where you go thick, 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 and then water out and blend it down just to see what it looks like as it blends as well. The idea with these, you're supposed to blend it in the tray, like in your little tray there, so you get a mix, but you can choose more of one color than the other if you're trying to do something a little bit different. I think this is the only color I truly messed up. I can't remember what it's called, but it's really in the wrong location. This should have been like over here somewhere. But it was, by the time I got to here, it was, it was too late to course correct. So we're kind of kind of stuck with what I got. Anyway. I don't know if you have used the Mission Gold paints before. They're absolutely gorgeous. This palette kind of sucks, though. Cool. That's cool. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So I'm going to do every second palette. How much uh, transparency it got. They just look different when they dry. So I'm just going to quickly do all of these. Never having used this, I'm not sure exactly what to expect from it all. Mission Gold really... It's really bright. It's quite dark already. I like the color though. I think the yellow's getting lost there. Yeah. Looks pretty opaque. Um, I might have to skip these as well because that'll bleed down. So I'll skip to six.
Yeah, I don't think I mixed that well enough. One, five, six. Because I got way too much of the orange, not enough of the yellow. I'm going to have to overpower that. Want me to zoom in? I'm going to zoom in. Otherwise, this is quite far away. Oh, shit. Give me a second. Accidentally quit my utility instead of opening it. And now it's not opening. That's awesome. Great. Great, great. Guess I'm not zooming in or focusing ever without a reboot. Love that utility. It's fantastic. Ah! Sorry. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a really beautiful orange. Should probably be reading the color swatch out. What the color's called. <laughs> I'm not doing that though. That sounds like a lot of extra effort. The video will tell all. Definitely some of them are more, more opaque than others. I think I might be able to jump to 10. Hopefully, we won't get too much bleed. Oh, that's pretty. I guess I should, I'm going to bring up that page as well. Silly of me not to actually kind of list off the colors that I've chosen here. All right, so this is... Nope, that's not, not working too far. All right, uh, we're on to... Number 10, number 10, number 10 is a Rubine. Just going to do a little rotation here. A little, little Rubine here. Oh, very opaque. Maybe a little bleed. That's all right. That's all right. It's all right. All right. So we're going to 12, which is a Quinacridone Permanent Rose. Uh, I think that's a solid color. Yeah, there's a lot more red in this set than the original set. I had a Mission Gold pigment set before, and I freaking loved it. I think of all the sets that I've used, it was my favorite. Just the colors were so vibrant, and it re-wet so easily. 
So I was looking forward to trying this set out for a long, long time, or getting this set. They're not cheap, I'm not going to lie to you. But uh, Sadie Tell Story's mom bought it for me for Christmas, which is amazing. Thumbs up to that. All right, we're going to 14. 14 is Quinn. Amazing. Whoa, that's opaque. That is a rich color. Whoa. That's a staining color too. Well, that's lovely. Look at those colors. <laughs> they look ridiculous in my uh, monitor. Like ridiculously oversaturated. Not that they aren't saturated, but that's 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 over the top. That's over the top, I tell ya. Oh. Alright, we're moving over to this side here. Alright, moving on to sixteen, my friend. Well done. Fifty one. So I think everything's off by a number. So this 16 is not there, so that'd be 15. All right, so 16 here is dioxazine, dioxazine violet. Yeah, that's that's the color, dioxazine violet. Most of these I have not used before. God damn, they look good. Oh, that's a that's a dark one. Too much water off. Definitely a opaque color here. That's quite intense. All right, 18, cobalt blue number one. It's a mix of a couple. Oh, that one's pretty. I'm getting that one. Looks like it. That's quite nice. Definitely a staining color. One of those ones, if you leave it too long, it'll leave a mark where it kind of dried to and then make it a little awkward. You can see a slight little mark right there. Anyway, all right, moving on to 20. We've got a cobalt blue number two. That looks like a pure pigment. Hmm. Right. Looks like that one would granulate quite a bit. Perhaps. Doesn't want to move very much. That one didn't bleed very much. That's all right. Um, okay, I'm going to go up to 22. F <laughs> oh, God. Phytholo cyanine blue? God, I'm butchering that one. That's, a, that's quite a mouthful. P H T H A L O C Y A N I N E. Phytholocyanine. Phytholocyanine. Huh. All right. Cool. Cool then. Oh, that's that's intense again.
That one's a little thinner. Maybe I didn't mix enough. All right. All right, to 24. The most creative color to date, greenish blue. Greenish blue. Way to go. <laughs> greenish blue. And true to its, uh, its name, there's green and a blue in it. So yeah, it's going to be green and blue. Whoa. That's intense. That's an awesome color. This kind of reminds me of a Viridian in some of my other sets. Well, that's pretty opaque. All right, on to 26. Oh, all right, this one's straight up Viridian. Let's see how much that's different. Uh, it must have Viridian, that must be the blue that's in that last one. Yeah, maybe it didn't pull enough blue on that last one. There's a difference for sure. Because that blue, I think, created a lot of the thickness. All right, on to 28. We are on to chromium oxide green, 28. And that's an interesting color combination. Chromium oxide green. All right, all right. Got a little, little bleeding going there. Hopefully this one doesn't go up in there. I'm gonna drag my sleeve through all this, which I probably already have. Oh, it looks pretty opaque. favorite color so far. Okay, they can't all be my favorite. And 30 is a bamboo green. That's over here. This is definitely going to change my painting style. I'm so used to a very limited palette. Hopefully for the better. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. This is our bamboo green. Cool, pretty opaque. And as luck would have it, over here is looking fairly dry, so we can come back. 
Good plan. Solid, solid plan. All right, we're going back. Going back, going back, going back. Uh, we didn't mention this one earlier. This was a lime yellow, and we're going to a permanent yellow light. Oh, I got a little... Looks like I got a little bloom in there. green, a little extra green or blue. All right, we're good. This yellow is cracked. Interesting. That's pretty nice. Nice color. All right, moving to four, which is an Indian yellow. There's, this is definitely a triple, triple one. Three pure pigments make this guy work, I guess. I think I might have to top up some of the colors a little bit more. It's kind of like a raw sienna, actually. Gonna have to come back to five here. Just because I'm a little crowded in that corner. Alright, gonna move to seven. And that would be autumn orange. It's a pure pigment. Nine in the corner, it looks like. As long as I avoid that blue, I should be okay. Uh, nine is permanent red deep. Oh, that's nice. That's a cool color. I'm going to say that a lot. I think I'm pretty happy with this set. Look at that. That is opaque. I got a lot of paint on the brush on that one. I made a mess of my water. Very opaque. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, moving on to 11, which is Rose Matter. I think I've used Rose Matter before. I think that was in my other... I had a tiny Mission Gold set that I loved. Going to rotate. The ones we cited are a little wet still, but I don't think it should be a problem. I 
That's pretty pretty opaque as well, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. All right, moving to 13. Conacodone Permanent Magenta. Oh, that's interesting. Too much water. It's all right. It's all right. Making it work. I like that one. What is that again? Connected to permanent magenta. And then the last one on this side is red violet. Yeah, it's pretty opaque. These magenta ones and violets seem to be a lot of. Oh, this is very staining, it looks like. Very opaque and very staining. Alright. Flipping around. Going to 17. All right. 17 is blue violet. Again, pretty opaque. Up there, it's all right. All right, moving up to 19, which is a peacock blue. Well, it looks like that's going to be nice. Yep, that's a nice one. Fairly transparent. It looks to be staining. Cool, 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 cool. All right, moving up to 21, which is I got it written wrong. Let me correct that. An ultramarine light. Ultramarine light. All right. I used a lot of the ultramarine deep from the set. My last set, I think I used up a whole tube of that one.
Looks like that would granulate a lot. All right, moving up to 23, Cobalt Deep Green. Looks like a pure pigment. Got a little bleed coming in the bottom. Oops. Looks like that one would granulate nice as well. All right, over to 25. Shadow Violet. See, this is where I think this one that I screwed up on the very end would fit right around here. Could be wrong. Or even back over here by the 1516s. I don't know why this one's here. Yeah, my violet's out of place. That's a deep violet. As you can see, my palette isn't perfect. That's really opaque. Quite deep. So I'm making all the mistakes so you guys don't have to. 27, leaf green. 27, leaf green. Pretty opaque. See, do see a few colors that I wouldn't use straight out. Uh, Twenty nine Van Dyke Green. That's pretty dark. That's a dark one. Whoa. It's almost black. Wow. All right. Yeah, I'll probably move that one around a little bit too. All right. Going back to number five over here, which is permanent yellow deep.
honestly don't know what I'm going to do with all these colors. <laughs> so used to making my own with lots of glazing and mixing that way. All right, there we go. There's the first half of the palette. I got to make the other side first. Then I, I wanted to do it just both in the same thing so I could flip it around. So I'm probably going to stop for a bit now and uh, come back to it once this is right. So I guess I could uh, do a little blow dry it. Get the blow drying's around and available. Of course, these colors will all change quite a bit once the they dry. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'll be right back for more Batmanuary. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take a break. I can't find the hairdryer. I'm not sure where it got it packed away to. So I'm going to take a little bit, have some food, and then come back and finish this palette. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thumbs up to you. Thumbs up to you. Ha <laughs> ha.